I had a contract at Plymouth and I walked out on it. I'd never do that again. I've got a contract here for this year and next year and I'm delighted and very proud to be a, a very, very small part of a magnificent football club. I saw it again the other evening. The statue we have out on the front now of Mr Jimmy Armfield, Sir Jimmy Armfield. I'm filling up now. It's, it's an amazing club with an amazing history. And um, I like to feel that I've added to that. I've got a great relationship with my chairman, who um, will choose when I'm not here any, anymore, because he runs the club fantastically well. He'll choose that, not me. I've signed a contract for that length of time. If he wants me to stay after that, then that'll be his choice to talk to me about a new one. And then we'll sit down as adults and, and, and deal with that. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, to walk out on an A contract, I won't ever be doing that again. And I wouldn't have signed the length I did if I wasn't intent, totally intent, on seeing it through. And ever, every day I've been at this football club, I've tried to treasure it and polish the badge. I haven't finished polishing yet. Do you know what I mean? I was polishing Plymouth and I decided to leave that and I never explained why. And I hate to say it, I was wrong. And I'm sorry for that. And I'm sorry to Leicester for letting them down. I thought I could change the world. I was just not right then. I needed some time out, 14 years flat out in it, at the deep end where I've always been, the deep end. Melkin making a, a silk purse out of a sow's ear with a budget. That's what I'm used to. And um, I probably needed a rest. And a year was far too long because I was worried I was never getting another job. But I'm certainly never, ever going to bite the hand that feeds me, I can tell you that now.